In the trunk of this BMW E65 series, I'm going to show you how to replace these old filament style bulbs with brand new LEDs. The trunk on this car has a light in the trunk itself and also another light on the trunk lid. These old lights are not even that bright. They get way too hot and they draw way too much power. To remove the light housing on the trunk lid, um, honestly, you kind of just pull at it. You can see those little tabs on the right side there and usually that's the best place to pull but it just comes right out. Usually you can just pull the connector and it'll pop right out and be careful because the light might be pretty hot. The lower light in the trunk itself uh, pops out pretty much just like the other one, but it may be just a tad harder. If one of these connectors doesn't want to disconnect very easily, you can always insert a tiny flathead screwdriver um, where that little opening is with the catch on the connector. And you just need to lift it just a tiny bit and it'll just slide right out. So both of these light housings are exactly the same and interchangeable. And to remove the bulb, you just uh, slide off this uh, heat shield on the back and there's a little tab that kind of holds the end in and you kind of push that outwards while you pull the bulb out. Here are the LED replacement bulbs that I'll be using. They're pretty cool. They have a heat sink on the back and a bunch of these little LED chips. These LEDs have special circuitry in them that allow them uh, to still work on reverse polarity, just like a regular filament bulb. However, not all LED bulbs are like this, so if you get one that doesn't work, try flipping it around and see if it works that way. I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description below to where you can find these exact LED bulbs. The replacement LED was just slightly shorter than the original, and when I clipped it into the bulb holder, it was a little bit loose, so all I did was pull it back out and bend one of the side tabs in uh, a little bit and then pop the light back in and it held it nice and tight after that. Let's do a quick wattage test and voltage times amps will give us the wattage and the original bulb is around 11 watts and the LED bulb is only about 3 watts. It's a pretty big difference. I'll swap out the other bulb and as you can tell I totally had these LEDs pointed in the wrong direction um, but I'll fix that in just a bit but go ahead and throw the uh, heat shields back on they kind of just line up and then slide over to lock them into place and then I just uh, plugged them both in and popped them back into place I noticed that they weren't very bright and that's when I realized they were upside down so if you have that problem be sure that the LED is pointing in the correct direction so I just pulled them back out and flipped them around and it was much better and that's it guys these uh, LED bulbs look a lot nicer they're brighter and they will not kill your battery as easy so thanks for watching guys hope you found this video useful and later down the road I'm gonna be replacing the rest of the interior lights with LED bulbs as well so anyways thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later peace out